Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper, and today I would like to welcome you all back to Timber and Stone, The Land of Us Lay, Season 3. As you can see, this is about the first time we've ever had a new migrant about to make their way towards our town. We will see if their traits are strong enough. Apparently, they have no organs, which is a good start for a soldier, I would say. However, we're probably just going to make you another lumberjack. At the same time, we have a merchant. This is really strange. We've had two very unlikely things happen, although it does tend to happen once we start playing. So I imagine it's sort of like some weird timer by the looks of it when you're playing. It's sort of like after an extended amount of time, have a merchant, or there's an increased chance to now... Excuse me. Now get a merchant over every day. The same thing for if you've got the right amount of food or people or whatever in order to be... Or in order to have a, the ability to get a migrant in town that you can accept or decline. I imagine that's got something to do with it. However, it doesn't trigger until you go off and back on again, which is what usually happens. But there we go. Two new people. What a terrific start to today's episode. Oh, yeah, and the skeleton's over there, which isn't great. I didn't turn that down enough to make some sort of dramatic comedic effect. Not great, but I, I tried, and surely that's the best thing. There are quite a few, actually. <laughs> We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a sheep over there, which I did mistake for a zombie in the last second. You're still here. Why are you still here? These these people, these people, these orcs. Back to not being an orc racist. They're not an orc. Oh, shit, it's a goblin. I'm a complete racist, apparently. <laughs> I'm not being an orc racist. Wrong for a goblin racist. <laughs> Look at that cheeky grin. And those yellow, yellow eyes. What the hell is up there? I mean, those aren't his eyes. They're just so, well, they're, they're not his um, retina. Retinas. Retini. <laughs> Retini. Captain Retini. My name is Captain Retini, and I am a cheeky bastard. Apparently so. It's going to leave that topic. Or not topic, but that random piece of rambling to the ether. And what we are going to do is accept these new migrants. Well, unless they're bad, then I won't do that. And also go ahead and destroy the evildoers before they stop doing. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Well, I'm not trying to do that at all. It's just for some reason my mind is completely jarbled here. Well, jarbled. Best word to describe it would be scrambled. I'm not too sure why. My throat is already killing me. Mm. Ah, there we go. The weather's been up and down, which I don't really care about. I say I don't care about, I do care about. The worst kind of weather for me is the sun coming out right after it rained. Now, there's only one instance where I do like that, and that is if I'm going out for a walk. Because the sun makes everything look so sparkly, which is nice. It's a very nice look. Very sparkly, very twilight <laughs> apparently. It's not really my preferred choice of E, but it, it is an E. E? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying E right now. It's because I said twilight E. It's a joke right there. Not a good one, but there we go. Let's kill these zombies right now. That's the only time I like it. Otherwise, I just, it feels like it shouldn't be a thing. I don't like, ex existence upsets me. Emily, that's a very good name. Level 3 Infantry. I think that's the only person that's just had a name. Just a single name, or first name, no last name. They don't belong to any family. Just Emily. There we go. They are a good wood chopper, which is a good start for us, and they don't have any traits at all. This is really weird. Or any infantry. We've got Emily, which is odd enough as it is. She's proficient at four stats right off the bat. Being infantry level three, blacksmith level three, engineer and woodchopper level three on both of them. And then two adventurer, two forager. This person would be amazing. They don't have any negative traits either, no positive ones also. And no inventory. I mean, we will accept you because I do need to have myself another chopper. Do I? Or maybe a carpenter would be a good idea. You're not a very good carpenter though, which is a bit of a downside. Bit of a downside. I'm going to say that very quickly now. Where, where are you, Emily? Boink. There we are. Hanging around the fish market. Okay, that's fine. Nothing on you. Right. Wood chopper. There we go. Welcome. You are going to ugh, chop down trees. I'm really low on breath all of a sudden. <sighs> okay, let's relax, just chill out. Playing some timber and stone. Could look at the lovely trees, all the growth. When I was loading the, the game up, 
I was just thinking to myself, what were the thoughts going through my head when I started this series? Did I think I would get this far? Did I think that this area that was first laid out to be just a really weird alien head skull thing that ended up being a terrific castle as well as a lovely town around it? Not, no, I don't think so. I wasn't expecting such, such, uh, pro progress, there we go, progress. And we, we got it, I mean it took a while, but <laughs> there we go, the series been going on for about a year and five months or something like that. It's a very long series. I think it's the longest series I've ever had, Timber and Stone, being season three by itself. I mean, it's the game I've played the most of throughout my YouTube career, I would say. The hell are you doing? Spectre, that is not your job. I'm not just sure why you're doing this. I'm glad I took, I got rid of these skeletons without just being completely complacent. Is that all of them? Seems like it. Let's go ahead and send all of our soldiers back to their guard posts and let's actually start off today by doing stuff. That'd be a good idea. Let's get rid of these corpses just to clean things up a little bit. The merchant's gonna come along in a bit. Not that I really care because I don't need anything from them. And if they were to give me something that I would have needed, it would be ridiculously expensive and I wouldn't like to give them anything. So look at that, B bollocks. B bollocks off. That's what I was going to say there. So yes, we, we made this on the previous session. No. It's alright, I don't mind it so much. I think adding some, window, adding some windows will be a good idea. That might help to make it look a lot less flat. This building's fine, the way it connects up. Lunch is meant to sell 36 ceilings for 72 coins. How many ceilings do we have? Because that might be pretty good for us. I don't need money so much. I do need seedlings, however. Where am I going? It should be in raw, but I missed it most probably. There we go. 122? Um, okay, it's not that bad. I mean, we'll have a 158 if we take the deal. Are we going to need that many trees? What have we got around here? Well, we are probably going to be using a bunch. You know what? I'm going to accept this. There we go. I'm going to accept it because we do need to make a bunch of hedges around here, especially with the hedge maze kind of thing that we're going to go up. Well, is it going to be a hedge maze? I think so. Sort of on both ends, a nice little hedge maze with maybe a statue in the middle. and It just sort of would look nice, I suppose, taking up space. Looking like a royal garden. As it should. What else do we do? Mostly just work on the, the roofs of these buildings right here. We are continuing to make ourselves more wood. In fact, I'm going to increase our wood creating-ness. Uh, we have a decent amount of plaster, so I'm fine with that. So let's go to 3,000 right there. 3,000 a bit much. The thing is, you have a look right here. Look, we've only got these buildings left to do when it comes to roofs. Then we got to do the interior on both of them. And then exterior design on all of the outsides. Well, all the gaps on the outside to see what we can do with them. You know, similar to what we've got with the graveyard. It's just to take up space and not to have everything as a house. I don't really know what to do here other than maybe add a statue and a cool little walkway similar to what we have over here. Probably is what I'm going to end up doing. I think a lot of our walkways will end up being this sort of uh, flat stone because it works very interestingly with the grass. Got a spider right there. Spider? Just thought about, just thought of saying spider in a very particular way there. Just thought you would like it. Did you like it? I hope so because you should have. If you didn't, you're a bastard. <laughs> you are a straight up bastard. Deal with it. Or something like that. I should really get rid of these little bits of roof just sort of sticking out so I can, can... Well, have the whole thing connected. What is wrong with me today? I was alright before. Oh. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It makes me sound like I'm incredibly unhealthy or maybe ill. Maybe I am ill. Maybe that's what it is. I'm getting sort of the early symptoms. Like, I feel brittle all of a sudden. L lack of breath. Granted, I've been recording every day this week and I've been talking for a good portion of the day, so I suppose I'm just getting a little bit tired, I suppose. I suppose. I don't want it to distract anyone from the glory of the series. So I'm going to try and ignore myself ever so slightly. Just a smidge bit. Maybe I'll stop every now and again and go for a breather. I think that's probably what I need to do. We'll see how long I last. Not not very long at all, apparently. Right. 
You know what, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go for a bit of a breather. <laughs> and I've returned, ladies and gentlemen, as if I never left. Of course, you would never have noticed if I didn't say anything, of which I did. I got rid of that because I completely forgot what the hell I was doing. I wasn't out for that long. About three minutes. Had a little bit of a walk around, a stretch. I feel a lot better now, but I have to imagine it's coming back already now that I think about it. Oh, that's not good. I had a little bit of trouble just that last second there, but that's fine. I'm good. I'm fine. I think maybe I'm just coming down with a cold or something. Like cold this time of year, innkeeper. Don't be silly. <laughs> why do you, why do you torment me so? Why do you do this? I need to get rid of this little chunk right here. I don't need to get rid of it. I need to add to it. Just to make the roofs a little bit better. We are going to be keeping the scaffolding around here just for the time being in case we need to make any changes. And I think we are good for these buildings right here. Now we do have some of these that were connected. Uh, yeah, right here. Now they're connected in such a way where I don't really mind having them connected. So, I mean, I could probably get this one up, I suppose. Although... I can't... Um... Sorry, I just did it again there. I don't know. We, we should be okay. I need to come up with a topic to get my mind off uh, everything, really. <laughs> just every little thing. We'll, f we'll find something, I'm sure of it. For now, I suppose I'll just pay attention to getting these bridges, I was going to call them then. i got bridges on the mind, obviously. I suppose I'll just get these peaks done first. Unfortunately, these won't end up being peaks, which is a problem on most of these buildings. Uh, in fact, all of these ones, apart from that one. It must be so silly. I know I was planning on having some of them not be peaks, but I guess I had just had the idea of... I mean, how far across did this go? Nine. But I forgot that I went out by one. So... Wait, it doesn't go out by one. It goes out by... 11. No. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit silly now to think about it, because obviously that adds up to one in the middle. But I had it the wrong way around. Because, you know, it's just who I am. I get I make these mistakes every now and again. And by that, I mean quite a few times. In fact, too many times now. At least the builders are getting their job done. jobs done very quickly. Merv right now acting as Larry as he always has been. Oh, fuck's sakes. There we go. Don't be worried, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm sure it's it's not it's not a complete and utter health concern, hopefully. <laughs> Shouldn't be. But there we go. Just a bit odd. It came out of nowhere. That's fine. And now all of a sudden this. I'm going to think it's just a cold. I don't want it to ruin my recording. I don't have time to do it tomorrow. So I have to do it today. So I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Innkeeper dies. Oh shit. This is on the news. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I'm worthy of this. Get rid of that. What do we talk about right now? Um, what's, what's big right now? What's the hot topic the kids are talking about? Digimon, <laughs> obviously. Beyblades. Zoom! Cars, race cars, scale electrics, scale electrics. Uh, the way I said that was really weird. I'm just sort of saying a bunch of random crap now from my own youth. Not that I participated in sort of those things. However, I was aware of them. Other than Beyblades. Beyblades. Blade. I don't know what they were called. Blade. Blades. <laughs> I really can't remember. What they were actually called now. <laughs> Something to that degree. I imagine, you know, I don't really care enough, but there we go. <laughs> A very fascinating toy at the time. It was all the rage. Rage. Rave? Sure, it was all the rave. Apparently, rage. 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 Don't go gently into that good night, or something like that. We'll get this side done, this bit at the top, and we're just going to narrate my doings of the roofs. There we go. Forgot what it was called, as I usually do. I don't usually forget what a roof is called. It's the cause for a concern. 
It's gonna get all of them done here. Oh, this is the first one we've come across that doesn't have a flat top. Which does sound like a name of some sort of comedian, like Carrot Top. But I'm, I'm not aware of him, to be honest with you. I only know of him through Family Guy. I haven't watched that in a very, very long time. I'm not sure what happened. I used to watch quite a lot of quote-unquote adult cartoons. But lately, and I say lately as in two years. <laughs> Lately, as in these past two years, I've just not really participated. I suppose I've become more accustomed to the media of uh, medium of YouTube, which has definitely taken over. Oh, this bit looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? I can get it done. It doesn't look make it look any less dodgy, however. Yeah, YouTube has definitely taken over the role of a television. And I suppose I could watch them online, or I could buy them. I'm gonna buy them? That's the other thing. I'm spoiled by YouTube, because it's, I mean, it's technically a free medium. Some people are like, oh, you have to pay for the internet, though, Inky. But look, okay, let's not sort of go mental on the, the slight differences here and there. You know, that's like talking about healthcare and shit. Oh, you really got to pay for it, because taxes. Oh, yeah, but, you know, it's not 10 grand, is it? So... I mean, it might eventually be that much, but, you know, it's still worth it. Little Timmy. That's the thing about Little Timmy right now, but that's a topic for another time. Yeah, it's sort of similar, though. I get it for free. <laughs> Watching YouTube, or I could pay for it. Or I could be a little bastard and torrent it. Or something like that. The Pirate Bays. Let's go to the Pirate Bays and sell the salty seas of the internet. Oh, they are salty. <laughs> Let's... Let's get one thing straight, and by one thing, I mean, I don't need to get it straight, because we should all be aware at this point. It is salty as fuck. And trust me, fuck is salty. <laughs> Ew! Innkeeper, so wacky. Coming at you live, apparently. Live from where, however? Probably somewhere. Far away. I, uh, it's far away. Something like that. <laughs> That was a lyric, but I can't remember from where, or when, or whom sung it. I imagine I, they're probably not very good now, because I don't know who sung it. I've not stuck around. Supposedly, yes, adult cartoons. Not partook in them. Same thing with documentaries. The documentaries on the History Channel, and, you know, the sort of that documentary section, as it were. We're a lot better back then, and now it's just sort of filled with reality television mixed with not history at all. I mean, the Hitler channel is no longer a hit thing. <laughs> Pretty much just World War II stuff all the time. Still interesting, but, you know, once you've watched it enough, you sort of think, yeah, I'm done with this. <laughs> just, I know about Hitler enough. I've known about him for all kinds and all forms of education. Not, not to mention the law of something of however long or however popular something is, the likelihood of Hitler being mentioned approaches one or something like that. <laughs> Just, there's some sort of law, I can't remember, but it's very humorous. Very, very humorous. I didn't take a breath there, by the way. I've just sort of got a bit stuck. So, <laughs> I say that as if I just got stuck in, like, a wheelbarrow or something. Help me! No, not the case at all. I'm not sure why I chose a wheelbarrow there. I think it's just because it was, it's an obscure place to get stuck. I mean, it's not, there's no lid for it. It's very open. I suppose you could sort of try and turtle your way out. You might have a bit of trouble if you forget to use your hands for a while. I mean, maybe you don't have any. Of which case, that is, a, that is very sad. And I... I am I'm very sorry. Not that I have to be sorry, but I'm just going to be sorry. Because there we go. So we're nearly done with sort of the trimmings of these roofs. In fact, very, very close. Well, we're going to get these done very quickly. It's not been the most intense episode, has it? I recorded some Timber and Stone, not Timber and Stone, this is Timber and Stone, some Stardew Valley recently. And it was really good. 
It was a proper, probably good recording, very hyper, very energetic, full of energy, it was great. Today, oh, different story, completely different story. It's a shame I can't leave it for a bit, which is what I would usually do. So I'm just going to, I mean, the best thing I should really do is just ignore it and just go on, don't mention anything. It makes for some good viewership, I imagine, but at the same time, maybe you don't mind seeing a day where the innkeeper isn't too ecstatic, ecstatic as he usually is. I say usually, I'm quite monotone, really. My, mon my, my monotone, I was going to say my monotone then. I did just express, exp express that a second time. I like that, that's my reset, by the way. Blech. I've explained that in the past, but not, not recently, which means reuse of material, yes! What else about TV? It's sort of weird. You have to think back to the sort of weird transitions, not weird transitions, but the sort of interesting, very natural transitions of your viewing habits throughout the years from your youth to your whatever age you are now. If you were to, excuse me, if you were to experience, or if you did experience the, the medium of television all the way up until the, the sort of age that we are in now, where it's pretty much easy to get any sort of form of visual media through anything other than television. Well, not just television is what really I should be saying there. That's pretty much it. Before, like, what, well, you want to watch something? Sure, I do. Go to the television. Okay, then. But now it's, oh, you want to watch something? Okay, then. You can you look on the tablet. You can look on your phone. You can go onto the computer. I suppose you could have done that before on the computer as well, but it wasn't really the same thing. Accessibility was a big thing, and the TV had access accessibility, mostly because companies would, well, put channels up there, really. You had to pay for it, but it, it meant accessibility. It was much better since they didn't really perform the service on computers, or at least not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge, that is, yeah. I mean, I'm probably talking shit, I suppose, so maybe you should take what I'm saying with a big old dab of Aunt Mary's salt, which, as I've heard in the past, is a really great product. I'd recommend it. I can't even remember her name now. Something about Aunt Mary and her salt. I feel like that could come across as quite disgusting sounding, so maybe I should continue onwards with that. Do I have to go along like that? I'm pretty sure I do. Hopefully you can't hear my clicking. If you can, you will be condemned. Watch yourselves. I'm not sure why you're being condemned for your ability to hear. But you will be condemned for it, trust me. None of that funny business. Let's get rid of that little bit here. You have to think about the changes though. Like, I can't remember where I transitioned from as a kid. From cartoons. To... When did I transfer from? I think the transfer was actually a bit weird for me. The transfer was from cartoons to documentaries, back to adult cartoons, then to YouTube. And I suppose the transition, the transitions aren't that big in comparison to perhaps some others. I guess I was a very simple child, I'm fully aware of this. I liked to, I wasn't open to change as much, I suppose, unless I was and just never realized it. And, there you go. I can't remember what what the, the sudden... Because it wasn't a sudden change. It was just, you now prefer this. It's not really that big of a surprise, really. I suppose it's just not discussed enough. Your ability to just change your, your habits so organically. Without you really taking any serious attention to it. For me, anyway. I'm not sure if this is the same for everyone else. It's not really something I ask around. It's the same thing that could be said for games, I suppose, really. Like, what are you playing now? Oh, I'm playing this. Oh, but you were playing that before. Yeah, but I don't want to play that now. I want to play this. So it's sort of the similar way of saying that. Well, I think gaming is sort of a bit different in that respect. When it comes to the sort of the medium. Because you have to do something there. Whereas it, with watching TV... You don't really have to do anything. <laughs> yes, you can get lost in it, really. In it, bruv. 
Yeah, you can sort of stop thinking. You can watch it. You don't even have to do anything at all. Apparently, there is a spider near Spectre, which isn't good. Mr. Bond's not going to like that. By that, I mean he probably will. Oh, yeah, that merchant left. Yeah, he did leave, I think. We should, like, block the doors off so he can't leave. And then we can use him to make the marketplace look just a little bit less barren. How are these... Let's going to call them trees, then. The trees are looking good. Nice trees. Nice trees. So we'll wait for those to be constructed. It's coming along very well. Oh. How are we going? How's it going over here? Seem to be alright. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I'm not sure why I'm looking over here going, it seems to be alright, it's okay. I haven't talked for a few, like, it felt like I wasn't talking for a straight five minutes there. That's just how, how time flies when I don't talk for a little while. I'm so topicless. I mean, I'm not topicless. I'm, l I'm losing focus is what's really happening. I had a good topic before. Maybe I should go through what I was watching. That's a good, that's a good thought right there. I like that. What was I watching? Well, I'm going to go on to that in a bit, because this episode's about to finish, so <laughs> i got my little timer right here, and it is approaching 30, and I don't want there to be a cut in the middle of what I watched. Instead, I'm going to make people think, oh, what is he going to watch? Ooh, Innkeeper, are you a little bugger? And I'm like, yeah, mate. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Every single time, I'm, I take things to a very odd, not necessarily needed social extreme. Is that really a social? Not really, just the, the way that these people would interact in real life. And my projection of it is just not right. It's very odd. How many more buildings are going in that direction? This building looks really squashed to me, and I love that. I really love this squashed building. I mean, it probably sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I'm really not. It's great. I should really be doing this. There we go. I could do it on a few houses, which I suppose is why I'm not doing that. So we could just do it on the one side first. Okay, that's not what I want. There we go. Already we're getting a little bit of lag. So we can get this house done. And then this one. And it's all coming together. Now I suppose these houses look a little bit more bland because of their lack of chimneys. Yeah, I'm looking at it. The lack of chimneys and also the lack of windows. That definitely makes a big difference. Saw some damage over here. I can't get... Oh, there's a skeleton over here. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we shouldn't be able to see them. There's another one right there. Oh, right. Okay, a bunch of skeletons have just spawned. All right, then. I suppose I'm going to go and deal with them. Otherwise, we are going to have a few issues. So let's go ahead and do that. Sounds like a great idea. All three of you. In fact, two of you can go that way. The other two can go against the other ones. And the archer can stick around and defend the opening in case I miss something. So you can go over there. I'm pretty sure I was previously clicking on Finette, so we'll see. Right, there we go. Moving into combat, we got three zombies, right? Well, skeletons, skeleton zombies, whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna emphasize that T, don't you worry about it. I've got, I've got your back, T man. T man. It's like Mr. T, but really it's just a cup with a union flag on the, the as a cake. And it's just a cup of tea, that's it. Because, you know, England, the UK even, the only. Union that has tea, obviously. No other country or union or anything in the world has tea. Only us. Which means it's our registered trademark, tea. T, TM. T, TM. Sounds really weird, but there we go. T, TM. 
to tell to tell him. Ah, Mina. Right, okay, go on, Fnet. Wreck him. My voice cracked a bit there.